All right, guys, back with another educational video. And this week we are talking about creatine supplementation. Does it actually work? So this is on the heels of a new study. This study was sent to me as a submission to do an educational video on. The person who submitted it said, does this mean creatine doesn't work? Now let's talk about the study. So this was a 12 week resistance training study in basically untrained people. They weren't super specific about it. It just said that they were healthy otherwise but not meeting weekly activity recommendations. So likely untrained. They had men and women in this study. It was about half and half. And what they had them do was a one week wash-in period with either placebo or creatine. And then they had them do a 12 week resistance training program. They measured lean body mass via DEXA at beginning after one week of creatine supplementation, and then at the end of 12 weeks of resistance training. They found that creatine did increase lean mass relative to placebo, but it was about a half kilo that the participants gained on average. And then during the resistance training program, there was no differences between placebo and creatine, meaning it looks like the lean mass that was gained from creatine was in that initial first week and possibly from body water. This has led some people to say, well, doesn't this mean creatine doesn't work? It doesn't mean creatine doesn't work. We have mountains of data showing that creatine increases lean mass, increases strength, and improves several performance metrics. It also may have cognitive benefits as well. So what does the study really mean? Well, the study does suggest that the effects on lean mass for creatine are probably initially from the increase in intracellular water. So creatine is an osmolite and pulls water into muscle cells. This gets into the, the other special forms of creatine other than monohydrate that say, well, our form doesn't cause water retention. Well, the intracellular retention of water is actually the anabolic component of creatine. So if you're claiming that your creatine doesn't cause water retention, you're claiming that your creatine isn't anabolic. This isn't what these non-science-based companies say. They just simply pick out buzzwords that will get people excited and they don't really understand what they're saying. But again, if you're saying your creatine doesn't cause water retention, which by the way, they have no evidence to support that claim, then you're also saying it's not anabolic. So riddle me that. Now, another limitation of this study was it was in untrained people. And it is possible that there is an effect of creatine during resistance training after the wash-in period, not just in the initial phase, but in untrained people, they have such a robust response to resistance training that perhaps it just washed out the effect of creatine and they couldn't pick out the differences between the groups. Whereas if they'd been resistance trained individuals, maybe they would have seen more differences. Either way, this is a topic worth discussing because I think a lot of people believe that they take a supplement there's a certain benefit and that benefit is just gonna continue linearly. I hear this a lot with caffeine. They're like, man, when I first started taking caffeine, it worked so well and now it doesn't work. No, it still works. It's just that your relative baseline has changed. Meaning if your baseline for like arousal before caffeine is here and then you start taking a caffeine supplement and it goes here, now this is your new baseline. So the relative change you notice, and then your baseline stays here, and it doesn't continue to increase. And so you stop noticing the difference because that is now your new baseline. And so that is very possibly what is happening here with creatine. Okay, let's just say it is that one week difference. Let's say that creatine just causes you to gain about a pound of intracellular water on average, and that's it. Well, intracellular water is still lean mass. And even though people say, well, it's, Maybe it's not fibrous tissue, well, who cares? Because muscle cells are 70% water or 70% fluid. So if you put more fluid in the cell, you have bigger muscle cells. You have bigger muscles by default. It is lean mass. It doesn't have to be actual connective contractile tissue to volumize and give you the appearance of bigger muscles. But again, creatine is not on its own just gonna make you look jacked. It's not like steroids, okay? But this study doesn't show that creatine doesn't work. It just shows that the difference that you see may just be initially, which establishes you a new baseline of lean mass and strength, and you just don't continue to see that increase. And that's totally fine, because at the end of the day, what would you rather have? An extra pound of lean mass and a little bit more strength, or not? I think that this is a, a big misconception about supplements or 
even some pharmaceutical drugs, is that you get an improvement initially, and that means projecting out that improvement will just continue. And that's just not how those things work. It's just reestablishing a baseline. If you're going to supplement with creatine, only use creatine monohydrate. Now, some people do get gastrointestinal discomfort with creatine monohydrate supplementation. In that case, you might be better off splitting up the dose. So for example, in this study, they used five grams per day, which is a very standard dose. So if you notice that you get gastrointestinal discomfort with creatine supplementation, try taking a half dose in the morning and a half dose in the evening. And sometimes that can help reduce that gastrointestinal discomfort. Now here's my conflict of interest disclosure. My supplement recovery to my supplement line Outwork Nutrition contains creatine monohydrate. There is my bias, but I have that bias because I've been studying this literature for over 20 years, and it is very, very, very clear that creatine monohydrate is king, and that's why we use it in our supplement. If you're interested in picking up some recovery and trying it out for yourself, you can hit the link in the description and get yourself one today.